With each African seed Jacob Oakham sows on this American soil, a piece of home sprouts up around him. Four times a week, he leaves his rented apartment in the concrete jungle of New York City to get lost in a leafy maze of African vegetables, as fresh as the produce he grew back home in Nigeria. It's a part-time job and a labor of love. I'm doing this as part of my heritage. It's part of my life system. On this luscious piece of land just miles from New York City, Jacob is planting everything from Nigerian eggplants to corn, even some heirloom tomatoes for a bit of color. He developed his passion for gardening growing up in Nigeria, but said he came here to America to learn the skills he needs to turn a profit on this unique produce. With roots firmly planted in Africa, Okum left his family and a four-acre farm in Abia to reap the benefits of an American agricultural education hoping to one day share the fruits of his training back home. America can feed themselves and export food to other countries. It becomes a challenge too. I say, if I come to America, I have to learn the secret so that I'll be able to help my people back home. They can be a food sufficient uh, producers. To enhance his African skills by America's standards, Oakham teamed up with New York City's Farm Roots Development Program a city initiative supporting immigrants with agricultural backgrounds who want to cultivate business skills. Organizers give green thumbs like Jacob space to grow and resources to blossom. Working with an immigrant audience, you have great devotion, incredible experience and new crops coming in, but you often lack some of the basic understandings of things like climate zones, soil types, once focused on Latino growers, Farm Roots is now working with participants from Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean. Each brings something unique to a competitive market. A unique product um, combined with some unique practices. Jacob's doing some things here on the farm um, with some of his trellising and things like that that we haven't seen before. And then Jacob will bring in that new community of Nigerian uh, shoppers that haven't known about farmers markets, haven't accessed them, but he's really opening up doors for our organization as well. Jacob is now breaking ground on two continents. By day, he serves New York City's growing African population with fresh produce. By night, he runs the family farm in Abia over the phone. I am just an ambassador that will bring the best from America to help them solve their problem back home there. If God, by his grace, will help me to do that, I think that is my purpose of being this planet. And so this African farmer will sprinkle seeds of his knowledge with friends and family back home, only to watch them grow. Patrice Howard, CCTV, New York.